So welcome back to my master class. Today we're going to be speaking about uh, rental agreements in agreement of purchase and sale for new condo construction. So what, what these rental agreements entail is when builders are building a project, the, the HVAC, so that's the heat and, and cooling system, uh, along with the boiler and air handler, the, these items can become quite pricey. So they, they download some of those costs onto the, the purchasers of the unit. And how they do this is they, they partner with a third party company who provides them the equipment that we just spoke of and then they lease the equipment to the homeowner for a period of 10 years. Normally these fees can range from 60 to $70 up to $110 a month. Now, in the fine print in a lot of these contracts with the new construction builder, they will tell you that uh, there can be some changes to the contract and in that language. One of the changes is that the, the HVAC, um, which is the heating and cooling system, may be rented. Um, so when you're looking through the contract, you may want to draw your attention to that. Let your lawyer uh, take a look at it when they're looking through the agreement of purchase and sale and be aware of that. However, if you're caught off guard and, and you haven't gone through the contract with uh, as granular as you should have and you get caught uh, at the end, you may have this, this rental and we've kind of described as, as to why. Now this sometimes can impact resale value because an extra $100 and $110 can impact someone when they're, when they're uh, getting approved. If you need to look back, when we talk about GDS, gross debt service ratio uh, of how much a property will be, will, 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 how much you can get approved for, now you're gonna have to add that additional cost of the HVAC unit into your calculations, which, which may impact uh, somebody's ability to qualify. For, uh, uh, moreover, people uh, in general don't like quote unquote hidden costs. So they're unaware of the fact that the, the HVAC is gonna be rented and then they find out at a later time that it's gonna be rented and, and they're uncomfortable or they're upset with the builder. Or even in the case of resale, now they're, they're uncomfortable because they have to pay an additional funds every month that they weren't expecting to. So I really urge everybody to read the fine print when they're entering into an agreement for new condo construction to make sure that the HVAC is gonna be owned and not rented. Now, if the builder has uh, a provision in the contract that's gonna allow them to use a third party to rent their equipment, you can always ask your lawyer to write to the builder's lawyer and request that your unit be owned instead of rented. He, the builder, he or she can um, purchase singular units, but if you don't ask, you're not gonna be accommodated. Not to say the builder will always honor this request. However, if you don't make the request, you're certainly not going to get that uh, put into your agreement of purchase and sale. Therefore, whenever you are negotiating agreement of contemplating nego or negotiating agreement of purchase and sale, whether it be resale, buying from someone who's already locked into a contract of this nature, or new construction, make sure the HVAC is owned and it's not an additional expense for you to incur monthly.